Hello everyone, welcome back to Dankenrampa 3. Um, I don't know why, but there are clothes floating around her now. Uh, this did not happen when I ended the episode last time. <laughs> Some of these actually kind of look familiar, like that's, um, Pekiyama's, uh, hair. Uh, that's Nagito's hair, that's Aoi's jacket, that's Hajima's jacket. <laughs> what the heck? Maybe we all remember that there's no one left out there. But how do we know our memories are real? Oh my goodness. Was that supposed to be happening earlier, but it just didn't load or something? That's kind of odd. That... Here, look at this book. This book contains years of research about Hope's Peak Academy. Nothing would indicate this book is a prop. I believe the information here is accurate. But there's a lot written in here that differs from our memories. What is different? To know that for certain, I'll need everyone's help. I want you all to tell me everything that you remember about Hope's Peak Academy. We just need to talk about what we remember from Hope's Peak? Okay. Um, so it started with the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy, inspiring wars and terrorism around the world. It would not be hyperbole to say that event brought despair to all mankind. All caused by a single high school girl. Yeah, it was me! Junko Enoshima enrolled in Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate fashionista. But my real identity was the ultimate despair. In order to cover the world in despair, I put my plans... Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up here. Huh? I detect no discrepancy in my memory banks. Yes. Everything we just said is just like we remember it. But it doesn't match what's written in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. I'll turn exactly why later. For now, I need to identify the discrepancy. Let me read that real quick, actually. Hold on a moment. Um. Oh, I remember this is a pretty long one. That second to last pa to last paragraph seems weird. Point out what everyone is mistaken about in their memories of Hope's Peak Academy. All right, time to play some Danganronpa trivia. Okay, here we go. That's the only thing we got. I'm curious about something. Oh! Interesting. Okay. That seems right. Something about that statement doesn't match with the history. Was the ultimate despair really just one person? The biggest, most awful, most really? I think that was mentioned. Okay, that's true. Yes! Okay. One high school girl started the tragedy, the ultimate despair, Junko Enoshima. At least that's what I remember, but that's not what this book says. Ultimate despair doesn't just refer to Junko Enoshima, it refers to a group and a movement that came after. To put it 
simply, there's more to ultimate despair than Junko Inoshima. This is the first time I've heard about this. Wasn't Junko the ultimate despair? That's what I recall as well. That label should only apply to her. Coincidences sure are scary. Everyone misremembered the same thing. Coincidence? Misremembered? No, it's not. It's no coincidence. I know there's a difference in these memories. And that's not all. There are other discrepancies I'd like to point out. Ugh, does it even matter? I'm bored already. Just shut up. So, let's continue where we left off. Junko resorted to different tactics to cover the world with despair. The killing game between the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, for example. They were locked up and forced into the killing game by the ultimate despair. But boo-hoo! When I, the one who started it all, died, events were set in motion. And the world began to move towards restoration. Then the fight between the future foundation and the remnants of despair raged on! The worst case scenario was avoided! Yay! A happy ending. Not yet. There are more points that conflict with the history. I'll point those out next. What? Hold on a moment. Why is it just giving me one bullet? Aren't I playing on hard mode? Huh. I'll, I'll look in that later. Um... by the ultimate despair I don't think that's true I have some bad news about that the events that my death set in motion are only now reaching their climax so the remnants of despair in the future foundation are still fighting but for now we've avoided the worst of it okay I think I, I think it was the second one it's in from our memories after all What's the contradiction? The biggest, most awful, most <laughs> yes, okay. It wasn't the ultimate despair that trapped the 78th class in Hope's Peak Academy. It was the class themselves. They shut themselves in. Shut themselves in? Why would they shut themselves in? It has to do with the Hope's Peak Academy shelter project. During the tragedy, the 78th class trapped themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy for protection. So our memory of the 78th class being trapped by the ultimate despair? Are you saying our memories are wrong? It just means those documents were written all half-assed. There's no need to worry about it. Your memories are all correct. What you've been saying isn't consistent. First you said it was just coincidence. <gasps> Is that so? Let's just move on. I want to talk about one more thing from our memories. It's about the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy that we were attending. What about Hope's Peak Academy? There's no doubt that the 16 of us were students at Hope's Peak Academy. We heard it had been rebuilt and was accepting applications for talented students again. And so, we gathered at the brand new Hope's Peak Academy. Since Hope's Peak Academy was large, we were all in separate classes. But there's no doubt we were students of the new school. Just like I thought, there's something wrong there. But why? Why are our memories so different? Academy was rebuilt. And with that, recruitment of talented students. Hold on a moment. Oh. It did not admit students by application. They were scouted. No, no, no! Aw, oh, dang. Okay, I think that was it. I want to read these. Which is why we were all in different classes. 
But we're all the same. That's right. We were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. No, I think I know what it is. Yes, okay. Hope's Peak Academy taking applications from talented students. But that's not what's written here. The Academy did not take applications. All of their students were scouted. Scouted? I've never heard that. I wasn't scouted. I applied to Hope's Peak Academy on my own. Me too. I chose to come to Hope's Peak. At least, that's what I remember. Are you saying we're remembering it wrong? But what if this book's just wrong? Researchers make mistakes too! Maybe so, but I'm not getting all this from just the book. There is other evidence as well. Other what? The killing game we're in now is one that began with Hope's Peak Academy. So this is the third game after Hope's Peak and Jabberwock Island. But remember what Rantaro said? <laughs> Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. So either this is the fourth one, or Rantaro somehow is a character from the second game. You know, I remember in the second game there was a character that was like the ultimate imposter or something. Could that possibly be him? He was not present at the two killing games that Junko orchestrated. Then, which killing game did Rantaro participate in? I'm not entirely sure, but it's clearly inconsistent, isn't it? And the inconsistencies don't stop there. Kokichi's account is also suspect. Kokichi's account is inconsistent too? Oh, an inconsistency? Do tell. We remember Kokichi as a remnant of despair, but I don't think that's true. He wasn't a remnant of despair. He wasn't a remnant of despair? That's not possible! He was definitely a remnant of despair. The remnants of despair were the ones who tried to stop the Gopher Project. And Kokichi was their leader. If he was the one leading the remnants of despair, then he must have been second only to the ultimate despair herself. We know that's not true, though. He loved me more than anyone. Like an obsessed fan hiding in the bushes. Yeah, because of his, um, his memory pad, whatever it was called. The proof that Kokichi isn't a remnant of despair. That one. This is it. The motive video we found in Kokichi's dorm room. Yeah, he was like part of like some clown posse or something. Like one that forbids murder. And in addition to that, the group was only ten people. That's far too few to be the same group that tried to sabotage the Gopher Project. Meaning that whatever group Kokichi was a part of is not the remnants of despair. His motive video clearly contradicts our memories. The memory we have of Kokichi being a remnant has to be false. Mm, he wasn't a remnant of despair? That's not possible. Come to think of it, we never actually heard it directly from him. But it's still not possible. Kokichi didn't tell us because he wasn't exposed to that flashback light. And neither was Kaito. Kaito didn't appear to know anything about the remnants of despair or Junko Inoshima. If they'd been exposed to it, maybe we'd know the truth. Maybe it's better that they weren't. I think the people who were affected by that flashback light were wrong. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? All of these weird inconsistencies are from memories we got from the flashback lights. So the flashback lights are the cause? You found the classroom that makes all the flashback lights, right, Shuichi? Yes, and I noticed something strange about it. I actually did a little experimenting with a device hidden in the room. 
it allowed you to select a memory that a flashback light would recover. However, some of the memories were inconsistent with each other. One might say there are survivors, but another would say there are no survivors. Bizarre, right? I mean, it's pretty obvious that you can fabricate memories of that thing. We're supposed to remember the truth that we forgot, and there should only be one truth. But then, having the option to recover contradictory memories doesn't make sense. Then what are you saying? <laughs> huh? The flashback light isn't for recovering lost memories? Is that what you're saying? And what was it for? What was it for, huh? huh? Go on, tell them. What are the flashback lights for? What are the flashback lights used for? Why, why, why can you select different memories? And why does it mean if those memories contradict each other? If I put all, all the pieces together, it all makes sense. We'll be able to see the real truth. I know what it wants me to write, but I don't know what starts with... Wait. Incorrect. <laughs> no. <sighs> Not again. Improper? Implant. I don't know who expect me to guess that from the start, but whatever. So it implanted memories. Man, you know, I love the Hangman Gambit mini game in this one, but the, what they actually expect you to make is just kind of dumb sometimes. It's a tool for implanting false memories. memories? Yes. The memories you could select for the flashback lights weren't our real memories. They were memories to be implanted inside us. That's why the contents of those memories contradict each other. Once we're exposed to a flashback light, those memories become the truth to us. So the memories we recovered with the flashback lights were not real. They were all false memories. They were all lies. Lies? What a horrible truth. If the memories from the flashback lights are lies, then everything was a lie. All the suspense and foreshadowing was for nothing. <laughs> Can you believe it? It's like everything that happened didn't matter at all. Well, that is what it means. Huh? Lies are just like snowballs. The more you roll them, the bigger they get. The bigger they are, the more fun and shocking it is when they're revealed. That's why everything up till now has been lies. That's the truth. The memories from the flashback lights were just lies? It's just as Shubiki said. The flashback lights are not for recovering lost memories. They're tools for implanting new ones. The light they emit is actually information that has been converted to light waves. That light is beamed directly into the brain, causing a deja vu sort of phenomenon. The brain gets confused and thinks the info it just received happened in the past. We were just confused? For example, your memories of being students of Hope's Peak Academy? Hey, <laughs> you guys don't have anything to do with Hope's Peak Academy. None of us were ever students there. It was just a fake memory. Really? <laughs> Not students from Hope's Peak? 
Yep, that was all fake. Wasn't that? It was a mistake to have you remember Hope's Peak. I didn't originally plan on giving you those memories, but I was in a rush and overlooked all those inconsistencies, so you figured it all out. <laughs> it's hopelessly the worst! So that's why Kokichi had to die? <laughs> Good job, Mr. Detective. You got it. The only reason we thought Kokichi was a remnant was because of the flashback lights. But he did say that he was the leader of a cult organization. That was a lie he invented himself. He wanted to be the mastermind. He wanted us to believe it. That's why he lied. He usurped the mastermind's role. What? Uh By doing so, became a thorn in their side. So to get rid of that hindrance, the mastermind played along with the lie. The mastermind manipulated us into thinking Kokichi was a remnant of despair. At the same time, having everyone remember Hope's Peak Academy made you guys target him because you thought he was a remnant of despair. You were using the flashback lights to control us? And the reason I tried to kill Kokichi was... You were being controlled by false memories, like putty in the mastermind's hands. But Maki wasn't the only one being controlled. You all were! Remember when Kokichi revealed the truth of the outside world? You all got so distressed, you couldn't even focus on the killing game! Wait, then, to make us recover from that, you... Yep, we gave you memories of being Hope's Peak Academy students, the symbol of hope! So you all could face despair! You... controlled us with that fake memory?! Oh, it wasn't just that memory. It was all of them up till now. New oh. Memories and truths turn to motivation. Motivation drives a story. Everything from the flashback lights was just motivation to move you forward. But I guess it was fake motivation. You idiots kept getting jerked around by meaningless lies. This class trial was like that too, wasn't it? Why was it you were so motivated to do it? Because you got a memory from one of the flashback lights, right? Was that also a memory you used to control us? Hey, what was it you guys remembered from it again? <laughs> Quite a lot, actually. First, you ran away from the Gopher Project. Humanity's last hope. But then, you bravely chose to accept your fate. You took on all the wishes of your friends and family. <laughs> the guy on the left looks like someone from Ed's World, and I can't get it out of my head now. <laughs> looks like that guy of orange hair. <laughs> and now, you remember how you got here. You remembered that you had all been entrusted with the world's hope, right? Remembering the weight of that hope should have made you feel stronger. I have to escape! I'll never give up! I won't be defeated by the mastermind! Even though Kaito and Kokichi were gone, and Kibo started to go berserk, you guys didn't give up hope. You decided to face this killing game, right? You were controlling our emotions? Even our resolve to defeat the mastermind? This is a killing game! A death game where emotions run like blood! Aren't trying their best to live, it's just not very exciting. Oh, the memories were fake. Then what was everything till now? That memory, and that memory, and that memory, and that memory, and that memory. If they were all fake memories, then where are we? Why are we in this killing game? Yeah, who knows? My plans for mankind's last killing game kind of just fell apart. So figure out why on your own. This is a class trial after all. Who are you? I don't know who you are. What's not to understand? I became me. Oh, whoops. If killing game is connected to Hope's Peak Academy, then I believe you. This is certainly the work of someone carrying on Junko Inoshima's will, but we have nothing to do with Hope's Peak. 
so you can't be Junko. Oh. So who the hell are you? I mean, you oh, oh, what? That's the protagonist from the second game. Wait. What? <laughs> you know him, don't you? He was in the Jabberwock Island killing game. That's not what we mean. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm just cosplaying. But those characters are real. Cosplaying? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, she was on the second game too! But what is this song? Yes, a hero! <laughs> yes! Oh, this is my favorite Take a Rapa character, actually. I love this guy. Wait. But you can't cosplay as real characters, though. He sounds very different for some reason. I'm not sure if that's a new voice actor or something. Yeah, she gets cospox. You know, this kind of reminds me of the Phantom from, uh, from Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Like, he kind of- are those the ha are those Gundam's hamsters? Oh my goodness, those are Gundam's hamsters. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to really like this, actually. What Hope's Peak Academy was? If Samuki can cosplay as them, then there's only one possibility. It's fictional? What? It's fictional. It's all fictional? Fictional? This most awful, most tragic event in human history never happened. Hope's Peak, the Future Foundation, and the remnants of despair do not exist. Because it's all fiction. Oh my goodness! <laughs> they brought back both Thakias. All of those events took place within a fictional world known as Dongan Rampa. What? You know, I don't think I've ever seen a character in the series say the name of the series before. <laughs> I also, of course, I've been pronouncing it wrong this entire time as well. Oh no, not Mekon. This is actually my least favorite Danganronpa character. I hate Mekon so much. Like, it's just annoying. <laughs> this character I hate too, although I don't hate her as much because I feel you're supposed to hate her. She's kind of a brat. <laughs> This is quite the bombshell. Because it's fiction. Doesn't exist in the real world. What? Isn't that surprising? Yeah. Up till now you thought fiction was fact. Fiction is just fiction. Dungan Rampa's just fiction. This whole Dungan Rampa story was just stuffed into your memory. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're bringing back everyone. You all believe that we're oh, I remember Sonya. I liked her a lot. <laughs> Oh dang it, Ibuki. Oh my goodness, Akane! Yes, best girl right here. <laughs> but why? Why would you do this? Why make 
just oh, whoops. Yeah. It's so you don't play the killing game. This is the world of Danganronpa, you know? I remember this kid, yeah. Dang, this is taking me back. Like, I haven't seen so many of these characters. Oh no, not Nagito. I've mentioned this character like ten times. This kid legitimately scares me. Like You know, we're at a half hour. I'm going to leave it off here. I'll see you folks next time.